Hey, game makers! Once upon a time, Chibi Echo decided to try inventing a party switcher. It took three days. It did not go well. Which is why I'm super happy to be showing you the Hime Party Manager plugin. In short, this plugin allows you to create multiple parties of player characters, switch between, and recombine them, allowing you to keep things like inventory separate. Due to this, it seems to be designed to be used for things like team switching for plot. Say, Chapter 1 takes place with these characters, Chapter 2 takes place with these characters, and Chapter 3 they join at some point. Now, we don't have a super huge amount of time to implement that, so in our little example, we'll be using three squads, let's say on a mission to rescue someone. But before we start, let's take a quick look at the plugin. In the parameters, you've got default party ID. Your starting party? That's what this number implies, so one is probably fine. Active party variable keeps track of which party you're currently on. So say NPCs could interact with you differently depending on your party. We'll have ours set to 50. The help file gives you very easy to understand instructions, and lists all of the script calls we'll need. Now let's get started. Our mission starts out with a nice little event. The actual scene doesn't really matter. All we need to be concerned with here is setting up Team 2 and Team 3. In page 3 of the event commands, under Advanced, click Script. Type in party.create, and in brackets, the number of the new team. In our case, right now we're making Team 2. Next, we add the actors to the team. Again, make a script call that says party.addActor. Inside the brackets, we'll have the team number and then the actor ID. So, Team 2 and Actor 27, because I have a crazy lot of random actors in this file. Repeat that code with the new actor ID of any other party members you'll need. We'll be adding characters 28, 29, and 30 to Team 2. Lastly, for Team 2, we'll need one more code. For this example, we'll be having Party 2 and Party 3 start on the left and right side of the map, respectively. So we'll be using the code party.setLocation, 2 for the team number, and the X and Y coordinates of where we want them. If you're using this between multiple maps, just type the ID of the map you want at the end. For our X and Y, we'll be using 9 and 39 to put Team 2 up near the left ladder on the map. Then just repeat the process for Team 3, using 3s instead of 2s, and a different set of actor IDs. We'll be starting Team 3's location at 1539 so the right side of the map near the ladder. Now, before this, we faded out the screen, and we're going to fade it back in after all of the code. This is just make it look less instant and more pretty. We're also going to be turning on a switch. For this example, we'll be switching between our teams to complete the mission. So this will just enable that. We'll be creating another event that gets turned on the switch I mentioned. This is here so we can quickly switch between our teams. Basically, it's just a conditional branch set to see if page up is pressed. Inside the branch, we're going to control variables, making one, in this case, swap number, and increase it by having it set on add, one. Then add in another conditional branch saying, if variable swap number equals one, fade the screen and call our party swap script call party.switch2 to switch to team two, and then fade the screen back in. If variable swap number equals two with party three. And one last one, if variable swap number equals 3, to bring us back to team 1. We'll also set our swap number variable back to 0 to make a loop. So, this event will switch us to team 2, team 3, and then back to team 1 with the page up button. Now, at some point or another, we'll want our teams to join each other, right? In this example, team 1's hit the end of the road, so we're going to have team 3 throw them some rope, but only if team 1 is in its logical location to get the rope. So in this event, We'll set up a conditional branch. In page 4 of it, we want to select script and type in party.atLocation 31231. This will check what the party's location is. Again, the first number is which team we're checking, and then the X and Y coordinates, followed by map ID if applicable. You can also use this to check the region ID, or check if any party is there instead of just a specific one. Back to our example, if team 1 is where they're supposed to be, in our case at the top of this ladder, then Team 3 will throw them some rope, and the two teams will merge. The code we'll use here is party.merge31. Important note! The first team listed, in our case Team 3, will be absorbed into the second team listed, in our case Team 1. So Team 1 will become the team shown, and the team will use to call things from now on. You can always go into formation and swap the characters around, though. 
With Teams 3 and 1 converted to just Team 1, we'll now only have access to Teams 1 and 2. If you're using a party switcher event like we are, you might want to create a separate one including just the two teams, or rework it to account for that kind of thing. Back to this example, we're now going to merge Teams 1 and 2 in another event. Again, if Team 1 is in its designated location, this event will trigger. We're going to add Team 2 into Team 1, but this time, Team 1 is kinda stuck on a ledge, so we're going to fade the screen and use the script call party.setLocation 11116 to move to the other side, and then party.merge Team 2 and Team 1. And now our entire team is back together again. And that is one way to use the Hime Party Manager plugin. To recap, lots and lots of codes and it's kind of awesome! If you want this plugin, there will be a download link in the description. Additionally, this plugin has even more planned features, so make sure to look forward to them! Until next time, see you later, gamers!